so here we go carrier rtu um let me get you the tag information here's a tag so i'm troubleshooting this unit and it had intermittent problems where the thermostat would go blank right and then the cooling would just shut off and then all of a sudden you know maybe i don't know predetermined time the thermostat will come back to life and then the system will resume operation but whenever the thermostat would go blank and the technician would show up by the time he shows up it's back online and then he deemed everything okay and then a few days later it goes down again and so the cause this was a repeated call but nonetheless this was the issue it's a limit switch right here now it took me about two hours just to figure that out why i have the control board out just to hunt this problem down to figure out what could potentially cause the thermostat to go blank and then comes back on on its own now at this schematic a wiring diagram uh, drawn to a better standard so it's the way it's drawn you get to first decipher what they're trying to um, uh, transmit to you or what they're trying to tell you with the schematic or wiring diagram this is a wiring diagram you have to first depict what the manufacturer is trying to tell you right or you have to decode whatever they're putting forward here and after you decode it that could take hours just, just to simply decode it and this schematic by no means a complex schematic this is a rather simple schematic or a wiring diagram that is actually so it's just a wiring diagram but 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 you know that doesn't matter why are they going to whatever it's, it's rather simple it's, it's not complicated at all not complex at all i mean what do you have going on here over here a couple of fans compressor right um we got we got one main board we got a we got another board here for the for the ignition uh, the furnace it's not much going on it's a rather simple unit but it's the way how they do this now Check this out. 24 volts leaves this transformer. Where is it? Where is it? All the way over here. This transformer. And you can see how they put this little piece over here. You know, they bring the transformer over here. They move it over here, right? And you gotta figure that out, right? Leave this transformer 24 volts and it comes down to this uh, um, plug. plug. That's labeled uh, main. And number one is 24 volts hot. Now, down here on the other side of the board, outside of the, the other side of the board, you have your thermostat, right? Thermostat. And you see where the R, 24 volts hot, brings power to the thermostat. So then I found out that you have to have to literally remove the board to do all that, to figure that out. <laughs> Not just by looking at the schematic. So the 24 volts hot, um, would disappear from this, this this terminal right here the r 24 volts would disappear simultaneously it will disappear from the ignition control module right but why well this this 24 volts there is an interruption by this switch right here but how simple, look how simple that is look how simple that is any mechanic with a half a brain could have just figured that out all right limit switch is in series with the 24 volts power for um this thermal block right here that feeds the thermostat or this one right here yeah and yeah it also shares the same with this ignition control module but you tell them look at the schematic right here and tell me if that's very easily discerned it's not So anyways, in short, if you have one of these carrier units and you are having a problem where the thermostat is going blank and then our, our, our unit is cutting, that shutting off and then coming back on its own and when you come every time you come, everything is fine, check this limit switch right here. This one right here. Okay? And that limit switch is right here. It just says limit switch, manual reset. All right? Now, if I want to trace this 24 volts hot 
and you see it comes this way and it goes through a bunch of jumpers on the board this this right here all these and it, it comes back out to right here um, it's 24 volts it's another black jumper that's on the board and the 24 volts continues and you see these dotted lines is is indicating what's going on internally to the board and you follow it follow it follow it, it goes to, it goes to seven which is the same main plug that plugs right here main same plug so it goes to seven on that plug and then it goes up to that limit switch comes back around the same 24 volts comes back to eight and then it stops right here it says r and if you take uh do a continuity test between this eight which is r and and this right here you'll get continuity right and so if this limit switch is open 24 volts which is which is how they look see how they put the r right here there will be no 24 volts here and if there's no 24 volts here this r represents this r this r where we see r that's what it really is where it represents right so r this r represents that and it's coming from here but it's it's only going to get from here to here if this limit is closed as you can see i drew, i traced it out Right, I trace it out. Right, never mind over here because this is not relevant to down here. But it goes. This is this, this is what continues all the way through here, all the way across here, and then through here and comes back around and up to seven at, and and come back to eight from the limit switch. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So. But it, it took me a, a minute because it's just simple looking at this. I wouldn't even begin to think, oh, I'm getting power interruption. My thermostat is going blank. Check this limit switch right here because it's, it's in direct, it's in series with the power going to my thermostat and controlling 24 volts from my equipment. It's, this is in series with it. I mean, look at this. Come on. All right. So I think manufacturer should come to get a standard this is a simple schematic it's nothing going on here we got an ignition control board a contactor a little relay a transformer and another board that's it There's nothing going on it, 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 this is a simple simple unit but look at the schematic it is a simple schematic but decoding it is a problem we need to have a system where all the manufacturers HVAC manufacturers has to, has to follow so that people can you know normal technician can just you know but yeah, man, I'm just kind of ranting a little bit. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. If you're having this problem, this video will help you out. I hope it helps you out. Um, so I, I do these videos when I, get to, when I run into these situations so that you guys can just watch them and be improved. And then, you know, you, you don't have to struggle a lot. I mean, you just use the video. So basically, this is a limit switch right here. This is a problem, right? This is a problem. So matter of fact, let me do this. I'm going to put everything back together and I'm going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate how we're going to lose power that goes back to our thermostat, 24 volts and 24 volts to our ignition control module while that limit switch is open. Stay tuned. Okay, so it's back in one piece, guys. Now, if you were wondering why I have this board out, it's simply because I was troubleshooting on the board itself to figure out... Um, what's the difference or what's in between or what if there's any interruptions between where the 24 volts comes in to terminal one on this plug right here the main plug and where it comes out over here to go to the thermostat because remember part of the problem is that the thermostat goes blank right so i was trying to figure out the relationship and i couldn't get access to the pins i need to get access to all the pins inside of here and inside of here and you know so i had to pull it out so i can use my get my test leads on there but anyways that's rather complicated i don't want to get into that part of it but what I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna pour this thing up right now, right? And then we should see this light. It's lit, yeah, it's lit. And see the fan is starting up. Okay, so we're good to go. And I'm simply gonna go over, I'm just gonna pull this wire from this limit switch right here. This is a manual, uh, and you can see the fan shut down right away. Right, shut down right away. 
shutting down, ramping down. Okay, that's ramping down. And if I go over here, get my meter in a it's an uh, AC. I'm just gonna put because the transformer, the common, the common is is a uh, is grounded. So I'm just gonna put one lead somewhere on ground here. Oh crap. Okay, so I got one lead on ground. And it's the same as common because the common, the transformer is grounded. See, this, this is a common right here. And then you see this wire is going to, it's going to chassis ground. So anyways, so if I go to my thermostat right now, it's the revolts. And if I go to my uh, 24 volts hot from my transformer, right there, 24 volts. Now obviously this is, our, this is a fire control wire right here. And if, you know, I'm just gonna remove this just to show you guys that that is fine. So 24 volts leaving transformer, goes into the fire control relay, comes back and go into the unit. This is apparently what's going into terminal one from the main right here. In fact, if I go right here and this is terminal one, you can see like it says one right there, little one up top. Let me zoom in. You can see it, right? So this 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 prong is one. If I click touch that, I'm gonna have 24 volts. But why is my furnace board? not lit up not lit up and obviously why my thermostat is not getting 24 volts either right well the reason is you saw what I did over here this limit switch and you can see this thing is in bad shape like if you look at it look at it I mean there's no doubt about it this thing is looking like it's looks look, looking rather dirty and crappy you know so if I take this wire and put it back over there that's gonna come back to life. Let's go back around here. So first of all, it starts back up again right away, but you can see that LED, LED is lit. LED is lit. And then, if I check with my 24 volts, oh my, my, my wire fell away from there again. Okay, so for 24 volts, if I go here, right there it is. Simple as that, guys. But I had to literally uninstall the board, troubleshoot what relationship um, this terminal, 24 volts feeding the thermostat, has with this plug that brings 24 volts directly from the transformer um, to lead me to, to figuring out that is a simple limit switch, right? Two hours of two hours of troubleshooting. Just for that simple thing it's crazy well, anyways this video help you out give it a thumbs up subscribe make sure you subscribe and consider becoming a preferred member because preferred member gets gets to see my videos first right especially videos like this all right i'm out of here guys